Hey guys, how is it going? Today I'm going to quick walk the garden just to show what's new, what's happening and some of the things. So I'm probably going to figure out with you guys, um, like for example, fruit settings and new fruit settings. I did already finish the watering today and I will have to set up a little watering schedule for the plants so I could save some time. As much as I really enjoy the watering time it's very relaxing to me but i just i don't have the time uh, every day and i need to do it because uh, some of the planters uh, some of the container plant plantings like the seedlings they need to be taken care of better so they need to get water we didn't have uh, rain for good amount of time and I can tell I can I can tell the signs of the plants that they need they kind of dehydrated they need more water so let me show you really quick come with me the Bragda seedling get pretty big just to give you an idea that's the house roof and this is how it be be became and it's such a beautiful tree and to think of that, I took it as a little seedling. To think of it as it was just a tiny seedling, just like that. And look at it, how beautiful tree it became. I'm seriously thinking that probably we're gonna have some food from it next year, if all goes well. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the sight of it. Oh, you can see the dragon fruit. It's actually coming backwards right now from the Washingtonian farm. That is a good stable trellis, I can. Just a couple of seedlings that uh, I want to show you. This is the Lacucha seedlings, and I just planted it just a little while back, doing very well. These are the variegated hibiscus cuttings. They are doing very well. Thank you for the a viewer who sent it and these are the palm seeds coming out very nicely and same with this um, variegated hibiscus cuttings doing very well about the pink pineapple uh, not doing super well actually there is one two Two, and you barely can see the third so I don't know how well I don't know if they're gonna make it but I mean I take care of them I water them I try to take care of them but not sure if they're gonna make it we shall see in a little bit plumerias are in flower right now everything looks like needs more water the Brazilian red cloak is in full bloom. Look at how beautiful are these flowers. And it's definitely taking over here. Finally going to seed. Star potato tree. Yesterday, today and tomorrow. Bee is absolutely loving it, this one and you see how it's growing through this uh, brazilian red cloak uh, growing through the custard apple <laughs> definitely taking um i did see a fruit a tiny fruit but i don't know if this will take uh, this morning as i was watering Oh yeah, look at this one. You can see the other one. And I'm sure there is others that I can't... I can't see really right now because they are kind of greenish. Uh, there is more flower coming out. More buds, more flower buds coming out. And there is another orchid pushing out flower spikes right here you can see the flower spikes I mounted it on the tamarind tree 
you can hear probably the water right now that I'm actually watering the Rolinia. It was very sad looking and I really love the tree and I decided to give some extra water. Look at look at how beautiful this orchid. These are by the way edible orchids. I mean I'm not gonna eat them but I could I could actually you can use it as a garnish and you can eat them. You can see the shampoo ginger. I actually use that one on my hair and it's really nice. Uh, this is the first flower. I didn't wash it out of my hair. I just uh, left it in my hair and it was it was actually really nice. You can also use it as a lotion for your skin. All natural. Look at the yellow orchid. This one, I got it from Home Depot. I uh, separated them and I made a whole lot more of orchid from one plant. Uh, the springtime is the best to separate orchids. What's up, Dexter? Some flowers coming up on their own. They reseeding themselves. And this one, this one is the ground orchid such a pretty one and uh, you can just plant it on the ground as the name says it and then you're gonna have beautiful flower spikes coming up some of the fruits are still on the rolinia they're not just yet right but there will be more available seeds from these. Dexter is helping himself with the water. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else I wanted to show you. The bananas are fattening up nicely. You can see them. This is the dwarf. Nyangwa variety. This is another bunch. You're getting nice. They still a little uh, time away to be collected, but they grow in well, so that's good. This is another bunch, and there is another outside. There's another big bunch outside of the fence. Palm granites also growing. That's a dwarf variety banana. I asked one of my neighbors to give me a piece and she shared one and this one is the Jamaican Sura. Look at how beautiful. They're getting ready, plumped up. They're getting ready to be picked and dried up for teas. I really love these for teas. Sorrel. You can see uh, definitely got a good size, the custard apple. But it's going to grow a lot more. I bagged it up from the Anona seed borer. And there is actually probably more on this tree. But I would have to slowly just check them. Definitely more flower coming in. And they hide very well at first because they are kind of green. So I will have to check. I'm pretty sure there is, if there is one, there is probably more. This is the very first year that this one actually uh, trying to fruit. Oh, yeah, look, told you, told you. There is another, that, but oh, look, there is another. 
yeah it's just you have to look closely because sometimes you can't see the trees from the forest <laughs> so you have to just watch really closely oh let me see oh, there is more sugar apple actually coming in it's unbelievable this tree was very 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 fruitful it's a green uh, uh kind of like a yellowish variety yellow seedling and it's doing wonderful june plum new flowers and uh, atamuya this is the very first atamuya it's tiny i am curious uh, to taste it i never had atamuya so hopefully we can taste the fruit this year looks like this is the kampong mouth sugar apple which uh, i tried the sugar apple on on a video this week uh, very very delicious and uh, very pleasing to the eye it's uh, such a pretty fruit and you can see over there um, this is a male papaya and some grapes growing here dixie variety uh, you see this is a male papaya looks like see all the flowers and you can see the seminole pumpkin growing on the fence these uh, reseeded themselves I, I didn't plant them I planted them last year but then they reseed this is a sweet potato variety guava tree just hanging in there and more coconut flowers look last time when i made the video the garden tour i realized at the time when i made the video the flowers the first flowers was coming out but check it out there is a lot more flowers right now coming out on the other side of the tree I love coconut trees. Look at that. Oh, that. That is very exciting to have some coconuts. Of course, they're gonna take a long time to mature, but the fact that we can actually, like we can just see that it's flowering first time, it's uh, exciting. The jujube is growing back. I cut it back a whole lot because it, this one, the Thai giant, it does not do well in my area, but it's growing back now again. The Rolinia, you can see, it's kind of sad looking, shriveled up. Um, it just doesn't get enough water, so that's what I'm trying to give a little extra supplied water here. I try to kind of keep it down with this thing, otherwise sometimes it would just flip over and just spray completely different direction. So I try to get that one. Lots of orchids, of course. Let me look in. Egg fruit. Where is the egg fruit? Oh, here. And that is it. Egg fruit. Pineapple. Bananas. Cranberry hibiscus. You see the jackfruit? They losing, they actually turning some of their leaves to yellowish and red afterwards because uh, they also 
water deprived. This is the time of the year we don't get a lot of rain. Tropical seeds. These are so beautiful. I love them. Butterflies love them too. Bees, butterflies. A very good one to have. You see this one also water deprived. You can tell. Oh, look! The chikama starts to flower. So we can have a so we can have uh, pods, seed pods, beds, pods, I think pods. Oh look, peanut butter fruit. Uh, this, you can grow it very easily from seed. Hmm. Mm. Very good to be dry friend one. If you guys are interested in peanut butter seed, shoot me an email at lifeinflorida.com. <laughs> at gmail.com. They grow quickly and easily from seed. Hmm. Oh wow, very sweet. See? They germinate, germinate very easily. Look, this one is ready, soft. Mm, very good. I love my munchies in the garden. <laughs> oh, here, more. Mm. Flowers and fruits almost um, whole year long peanut butter fruit. Mm. Jamaican cherry need some more water to looks like. Ice cream bean. They're pretty tiny but this is gonna blow up like next year probably. They grow quickly. This is a custard apple seedling. I planted from a food that a uh, neighbor shared. Jackfruit tree. Hi Dexter. Hi Dexter. More papayas. Looks like an avil seedling. And these are the quartered um, pineapples. They're growing very well. Planted instead of the bromeliads, I planted those. So yeah, that's just a short, short tour to show what's going on right now. Everything needs a good rain. Very good rain. <laughs> you know that actually dragonflies can bite you hard, but they, they don't normally, unless they feel threatened. But I love them. Very much. Look at the papayas. Now the question, how much of them is going to be wormy? Jabuticaba. Uh, almost every day, almost every day, I check for fr uh, like a flower, but not yet, not yet. But I can't wait the time. Barbados cherries and the brown sugar fruit, sapodilla. You can see the fruit.
pigeon pieces growing up to the sky. So many plumerias. It's beautiful right now. Very, very nice in the garden. Need some rain though. Definitely need some rain. The Barbados chairs because there was not rain. They're so sweet, sweeter than normal. I'm going to have to stop the water. To the Rolina before I forget. But I'm sure it was a little help. It's just it gave us so many fruits this year and it needs to get hydrated more so they love water. Perfect. And also the star fruit is flowering, the big star fruit. Good to show you this one, yeah. And so we're gonna have some star fruit coming in. Look at all the buds, flower buds showing up. They're gonna, yeah. This is also a very fruitful tree. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys later with more plant videos if you like the video push a like and oh look at the dragonfly one of my favorite in the garden they eat so many mosquitoes they are the best mosquito control whenever i hear the planes the mosquito control planes i always think of the other insects um i'm i'm like always thinking like oh is this going to kill the dragonflies? Is this going to kill the other very important ones? But uh, thankfully, even though I heard it a couple of days back, but uh, the, the planes, but there, I see a lot of dragonflies, so they hit well from, the, from those sprays. So I'm very thankful for that. So thank you so much for watching. Push a like if you like the video. And... Uh, Subscribe if you like to see some more plant videos. I will see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.